Cerote no. Cerote no, that's a bad word. What does that mean? I think that's like a, I don't know, a disrespectful Hispanic word. I'm pretty sure it's a disrespectful word. What does it mean though? I really don't know. Cerote, I think it's like... Maybe? Nah, I don't, I don't want to insinuate anything. Let's Google know. it. Cerote. Man. That way I see you already. Yes. What's funny so be said out oh, here? Okay. According to Urban Dictionary, is a derogatory way to refer to someone who's not a friend. A piece of crap. Mm. A piece of crap. Okay. It comes from Guatemala and Salvador. Oh, the proper definition mm. is turd. Yeah, so it's a piece of crap in a turd. Interesting. I don't know. So while I'm eating, so I'm bad. I left the Philly for two months, bro. So what has changed in the past two months, bro? Mm-hmm. So tell me about this trip. You know, anything that you that you learned, that you take away from it? That I learned? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I think I did. I learned quite a lot. You know, it's funny. You know, I'm not like usually not friendly. Mm-hmm. But funny enough, I actually made friends. Like actually, like like people actually like got numbers from but IGs. Did from. they approach you or your person? Nah. So it's been the first people I met. Some approached me, and then some of the people I met um was like that first night we had dinner. Mm-hmm. So we all sat like in random tables. Like, I literally sat like at a table. They gave me like this pass. Or whatever I sat at that table, and so I talked to some dude from from Rhode Island, another guy from Seattle. They're like, "Yo, man, you know, like if you ever down here, hit me up. This is and that, blah blah." So just kind of like the network, mark- yeah, exactly. Ne- I'm about to say marketing, <laughs> literally, like, say, you market no, not marketing, yourself. networking, yourself. right, networking or whatever. So well, I have many people and stuff. So it was fun. It was fun. It was, it was a new experience. What well, what did you learn? What did you take away from it? What what impacted you the most? Hmm. Our guest speaker was Bakari Sellers. Mm-hmm. So like I was, I was trying to tell you like I mean I didn't talk a lot about it but you know um when he was that's the So when when he was talking about um like, so he was kind of talking about history right mm-hmm. about how so many people have sacrificed like a lot of things. For us to be where we're at today, right? But we wouldn't really know or take into consideration a lot of these things mm-hmm. if you're not, I guess, not educated in it. So some say I actually didn't know. Um, I personally forgot the names, but he was talking about a man who who owned his business, who owned businesses, right? He was um um he was a black man, but he was like very light skinned I guess, so much so that he could pass his white, and he basically owned you know a few businesses around town and stuff. And he registered a vote. Mm -hmm. He got accepted. And when he actually went to, like, the voting booths and stuff like that, they told him, like, yo, like, we know, like, who you are, whatever. So, basically, he couldn't. So, uh, uh, he decided to fight it, like, you know, to sue. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in doing that, people basically, like, made his life, like, flip upside down. As far as, you know, like, they they, um, terrorized, like, his wife at the Mm -hmm. house, you know, like, leaving, like, burnt crosses and stuff like Mm -hmm. that in the front, um... So much so that she died in a mental hospital. They, I guess, kind of messed up his businesses, mm-hmm. his flow of the business, all of these things. So basically, like, you know, this guy who, who was basically fighting uh, for the, his right to vote, mm-hmm. basically died suffering, like losing everything and just dying or whatever. And I don't say whatever, but so, I mean, that, that, you know, it was, that was one story out of many uh, that kind of just brought over a lot of things that people have sacrificed for us to basically have what we have now, we just take for granted, in a sense, you get me? So I think that that's one of the things that I really learned, it's just about um, seeing how far you've come, because we've talked about that before, mm-hmm. you know, really, really seeing how far you've come, how much more you have to grow, mm-hmm. but recognizing that, you know, that's the whole point of legacy, you know, that you, you got to make sacrifices today, so that people after you can mm-hmm. reap. A lot, a lot more of those benefits. So I think that's that's what I learned from this whole Philly trip. Um, from Europe. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Europe. Do, even do, though, do you think, uh, even though, 
this podcast does not in any way, shape, or form correlate with Europe practices at all. Because they're like, but Europe is very like, you know, professional driven type thing. You know what I mean? So, and this podcast is nowhere near <laughs> professional. I think Europe, if you're not here, this podcast is not professional at all. How so? Because you keep this podcast professional. If, I, if in that life. I don't think that. Yeah, because you keep like, you know... Like the neatness here. You know, I be saying like whatever I feel. So, who keep the? You mean like the politically correctness? Yeah. I, so I, I, mean, I just think about something when you were when you were just you know telling us about you know, like this guy's story. Do you think in part because I just I thought about it right now. Like, do you think in part sacrifice is selfish? Hmm. I kind of see your point of view there. You know what I'm saying? Because most of the time we don't, we're not thinking, I mean, some people do, but most people when they're really sacrificing, they're, they're thinking about themselves. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. It's like, um, you sacrifice, like, right now, like, maybe you sacrifice time with friends right now, or sacrifice time with whatever to get, to work more or whatever, so you can build something for yourself mm-hmm. at the end. It's always going to be for yourself. Mm-hmm. So you, that sacrifice isn't necessarily for others, but you're thinking about you, mm-hmm. right? That's what you mean. Is you know, I mean, I want you to tell me more, but what what that just made me think of is when I always say like, um, like everybody's selfish, mm-hmm. period, like, period, like everything's yeah. about you, even if it's to change or whatever, it's still always to some ramification about you. So, but Alan, tell me more. No, I, I mean, I was I was thinking, um, because we were saying it, you know, like for example, he went through all this struggle, right? Uh, for the right to vote, but it wasn't for everybody else's right to vote. It was for his right to vote. Right, right. Right, and so he put his wife in danger, mm-hmm. and he put his own financial stability in danger for an idea. Right, right. Uh, obviously, don't get me wrong. I I believe that a lot of people, including him, probably were thinking about no, this is for generations to come. Right, right. But well, in a sense, you know, it's like a selfishness to sacrifice. Mm-hmm. No, I get that. Well, because, thing. because you believe you deserve more. There's a thing. So yeah. I, I I guess in that specific case, yeah, it's true. Like there's some selfishness to it, but at the same time, it's you know if if you if you sue right because you cannot vote because you're black and you sue and you try to fight that right. Technically, it's not. I mean, it is for you, obviously. So you can get the right to vote, obviously, but you're also doing that for other people because it's not like they're gonna only open the right for you to vote. You know what I mean? They, I mean, if they would have you know mm-hmm. opened it up, it's gonna be for every black person to vote, not just him. Obviously, because I mean, then that would be weird. Mm-hmm. That would be like, damn, everybody has to make a case. Which, you know, probably in those times, they probably would have anyways. Because, I mean, let's face it, that show is bad. But, but I don't know. Yeah, some sacrifice does have, I guess, some selfishness because it is about you. But I think a lot of the things that we do is always about us. Like, even even when we, like, donate and do certain things, it's it doesn't benefit us or whatever mm-hmm. in any way. But it still makes you feel good. I so, think, it, it's some like sense, an emotional it's still, benefit. Yeah, it's still, like, something that's going to, like, come back to you always. So... Yeah, I think it's always gonna like depend on the circumstance and whatnot. Because I mean, I I think about it. I was just I just thought about it now, and I was thinking about every aspect of life, and I would say that almost every sacrifice is indeed selfish. It's just that because it's so personal, mm-hmm. it's why it's so important. Because if it's not personal, then I'm not really invested in it. So they, I think now now like as the more I develop the theory, I think it should be always selfish. Mm-hmm. Because if it's not selfish, if it's not about me, then I'm not truly invested in it. Right, right. Because even when yeah. they're about the, the future generations, you know, what are we talking about? My future generations. Yeah, for sure. So it's still a selfish thought. It is, yeah. But I mean... But, but I mean, that it might be a good thing. Because then I'm really reinvested in it because it matters to me because it's about me. Yeah, it's like, you know, so it kind of comes down to like, um, in a way, it, it's like the... I, it's like a balance. Let's go with that. It's a balance to everything. You know what I mean? Like too much of something could be bad, right? So I guess like a little bit of selfishness isn't bad because it's gonna cause like a kind of drive, mm-hmm. right, to you, like to certain things that you want for yourself. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I guess like like yeah, I mean it's true. Like, yo, a lot of times we look at certain words as bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like oh, you're selfish, and that's like something negative. And I mean maybe it is something negative, but I don't know. I think that it's too many times that certain words are used in a negative light. So I yeah, think that's and so, why. We, so we we make up phrases that sound better. Like for example, for selfish, right? I'll tell you an example of selfish that we actually sound proper. Oh, you're driven. Mm. <laughs> you're driven, <laughs> right? Mm. 
Think about it, because no one wants to call me called selfish, but everyone wants to be called driven. That's a good loophole. <laughs> You're yeah. driven. Nah, so I'm just driven. I'm focusing on my career. Yeah, I'm focusing on like me. Focusing self-care. On me. Yeah. Self-care is, is... You know what self-care is, right? It's selfishness. It is. It is. It's true. Yeah, it's like loopholes and shit. <laughs> it's loopholes and shit, so you're like, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm just thinking about, you know, myself and I working on me, yeah. this at the third. I get that. I get that. I mean, like, look, overall, man, for this trip, it was, it was dope. I mean, at, at least for me, what I wanted to get out of this trip is just to, like... Uh, try something new and different, you know, like, I was basically flying by myself, it was the first time I flew by myself ever, you know, um, the first time I'm out of this, well, okay, first time I'm out of the state, let's, let's say better, in, like, years, probably, like, the last six or seven years mm-hmm. or something, that's the last time, you know, like, I haven't been out the state in a long time, so it's just something for me, just new, you know, like, let's see how it is, I really, really enjoyed it, I enjoyed my time, even the people from this side, I didn't know, I met, you know, and mm-hmm. I got better acquainted with and stuff like that, so, it was um it was a dope experience. It was dope. It was fun. Um. Yeah, man. It was just out of. I wish. I wish. I would have um. I would have known more like mm-hmm. about it. Cause to be honest with you, it wasn't as strict or as like. Oh, like you have to be like this. Is I would have took more chill outfits or something like that for sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, instead of like this professional yeah, like yeah, yeah. having you know. Cause you imagine a certain way. Yeah, I mean, they told us to dress professional, but dude, like, I didn't, like, the second day, I wasn't professional. I was in a sweater, some trousers, and some sneakers, basically. Yeah, but that's like the hipster business kind yeah. of look. I guess, yeah, in a way. You know how a hipster, yeah. like, they'll dress nice and you put sneaks on them. Yeah, right. But yeah, but I wasn't even with, like, a collar shirt or nothing. I had a sweater on, so that's what I'm trying to Yeah, but it's probably, like, a crew neck that looked nice. I saw your fit, I think. Yeah, yeah I saw your fit. like a knitted it's, 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 When you're walking down the stairs, pretend like you're not looking, but you know where you're going. Yeah, yeah I saw that's that's yeah, Yo, I have to give the fake. <laughs> I always, I always say this, I, I go, I, I, I didn't write this down, yo. I was, the whole time, I was like, yo, I gotta be an IG thought for this trip. Like, I have to be, I have to IG everything. Fake that, candid. Yeah. Oh, I always do fake candid. Anyways. Like, all my pictures, I'm almost never looking directly at the camera. And they're always candid. Yo, if you're really blow up, people are gonna assume that you've always had a photographer. Because, like, oh, they always caught me off guard. They always caught me off Yeah, guard. like, nah, man, it's not. He's like, oh, hold up, I, I asked somebody to take a picture yeah. of me. Yeah, I'll tell them, like, for that specific picture, I was like, yo, just take a picture of me walking down the stairs, right? Just take a bunch and then see what happens. And I just walked down the stairs, took a bunch, I was like, oh, this one looks good, this one came out good, this one, alright, I'm gonna take that one. And that, that was basically it. That was literally, I did not, you know. I don't know, man. I just thought it was fun. Being I just thought it was fun. You like, you like it? I like, you I like, like that. Like, 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 I understand. Like, yeah, I understand. It's, it's like, you know, you want the, the appeal, attention the yeah, yeah. and the likes and stuff like that. So I get it, man. Like, I get it. What do you, I, what do you think about that? Let's talk about that. What do you what? think about IG thoughties? Like, what do you mean? Like, like women or like, no, just in general. Just like fishing I, th- I think there's both. Yeah, I think there's both. Fishing men, yeah, both men and women do that. I think it's more girls. Uh, I, guys, mean, I think both men and women do that. I, I, I'm telling you, the only reason I like, like posting a picture is if I can come up with a with a snarky or like a clever caption. Yeah. If I can come up with a clever caption, I don't want it. I don't. No. How you know, like even in your comments, I just come up with something like yeah, slick. all the time. All the, yeah, <laughs> the only reason I like it is because if I can, if like if you can come up with something snarky in sm- like a like a small sentence, yeah, then it's like yo, this person's smart. It's funny. Yeah, you know, uh, let me ask you something. So you don't like pictures like that? No. I really don't like pictures like that. At least for a moment, I didn't like pictures like that until like. Probably like um, these earlier mm-hmm. times, but um, you know, and you tell me. I, for me, part of it for me was like I didn't like to take pictures because it's like uh, this whole self conscious thing about like you want it to be, well, not the best picture, but the best look aesthetically. At least for me, it's always been mm-hmm. like that. Like I wanted to be the best look aesthetically. So it's like. Like, nah, I don't really like taking pictures because then I, it's like too much work. You get me? Like, you know, so that's why, like, I mean, at least for me, I always default to just like, ah, just being serious, you know, just neutral or doing something dumb. You get me? Always, mm-hmm. right? That's what I defaulted to. That's so I think that was like, it was just this awkwardness with pictures. I don't know if you feel the same. Like, yeah. It was always this awkwardness. Well, to me, I, I have a simple explanation why I don't like pictures. It's because it feels forced and I don't like anything. You know me. Yeah. Anything that feels forced, I don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. And, uh, for example, I'm always I'm smiling. Always, 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 like, always smiling. Yeah. But when you tell me, hey, Chris, smile in a picture, I'm like, you my stomach growling? Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. Like, and I'm like, trying to, like, I'm thinking so hard and I don't know how to smile. Yeah. You just like, uh, well, I, but that's what I'm saying. You see, like, so it feels forced because then people are like, and then they like, want me to be nice. Like, yo, take a picture. But then when I take a picture, oh, look, you're doing something with your hands. Or look, you're doing something with your face. It's like, uh, so I'm supposed to pretend not to be me? <laughs> like, what's the point of the 
yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I get that. I don't know. I guess for me, for a while, it's something like that. In a, in a way, like you don't want it to be forced. Like you don't want to just fake smile and be like, mm, okay, cheese. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but whatever. I guess that's far as the picture. But now, IG thoughties. Let's get back to the topic. Mm. IG thoughties. What are your thoughts on IG thoughties? I mean, I, I think is whatever. You know? Wait, hold up. You know, if I, let's define it to you. What's an IG thought? Do you think there are such things as yeah, that? Yeah, like people who just fish for the likes. Does that you think an IG thoughty is? No, no, honestly, I, I, I'm telling you, I've learned more and more about Instagram little by little. Mm-hmm. Like, I've learned that people have strategies of, like, at what time they post right. and on what days they post yeah. so, to make sure they get the most likes. Right, right. right? Most interactions. And, people, and people are, like, focused on the algorithm. They're trying to figure out how the algorithm would work to the yeah. benefit, to their, like, advantage. To the benefit, uh-huh. So they'll make sure, like, hey, you know, to people that know, like, it will comment or like or whatever yeah. just so that the interaction will affect the algorithm, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> and so, like, I'm like, Yo, it's serious. Yeah. This is like a sport. Like, like, this is yeah. like analytics on this mug. Like, yeah, there is analytics. Like, no, no, obviously, no, I know a system has analytics, but I'm saying people use analytics. People are like, yo, if I can make it out on this day at this time, uh-huh. this is my this is my prime. Yeah. yeah like, 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 you'll very, very, almost never catch anybody post a picture like at 1 o'clock in the morning or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, not, maybe store, you know, this is like you can see yeah. that for 24 hours. But an actual picture... People post it like, you know, like, oh, I got 12 a.m. when people are, like, probably going out to lunch and they're going on their phone. You know what I mean? Or, like, at 5 when people are, you know, like, in traffic and they're on their IG or something. The people have, like, these real... St- I mean, even businesses do that. Yeah, like, for period. sure. You know I mean? like, and they do the promote it. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, they know when, like, to promote it. You know, so like, when people are on, when they get the most interactions, meaning comments and likes, you know what I mean? Like, all of that stuff, like, matters, like... So yeah, it's like a science to this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so to you, an IG thought he is someone who's just fishing for basically likes. for likes and stuff. Yeah. Okay. But what's that to you? Is it something yeah, it is. I mean, I think I could. I don't. I don't. At least for me, I don't think it's for likes because there's certain things you can't like. Like you can't like a story, or you can't like a snap. You get me? Yeah, but that I, I, at least my reasoning is that is gonna lead you to my profile, and you gonna like my pictures. I, well, I, right, I, I think ultimately me and you are both going to go to the same spot right here where I just go with attention. Right? Yeah. yeah that, that's about about so I think um, if I say, oh, that's just an IG thought, it's going to be like the girls that just dive in for attention. Like, I don't like like the the BS explanation of, oh, I'm just doing this to motivate or I'm doing this. Like, no, nah, like you, you, you're doing it to flex. So you're doing it to like, yeah, you're doing it to, to yeah. attention. I mean, like, there's like girls and there's guys. And look, guys, when they take like the ab picture, the flex picture... That's like a fishing for attention mm-hmm. kind of thing, right? Like bring it, I mean, and again, this this is where I say like, we use things uh, too much in a negative and in a positive light. Like, I don't, that, uh, to you, is that negative? Is that a negative thing? Well, getting attention? Yeah, like trying to fish for attention and stuff like that. Like, so, okay, no, you're it's, a guy. It's marketing. Let's say, let's say this, you're a guy, right? You're a guy you like to work out, so you decide you take a, a gym selfie, right? Shirtless. A, a shirtless gym selfie and you post it. Do you think that's a bad thing? No, not really. I just, uh, I'm, I'm, I tell you, for me, I don't, I don't think none of those things are bad. For example, if you're a trainer, you want to show that you got results because there was no yeah, right. about your business. Well, what if you're not a trainer? All right, you're uh, just a regular guy. Um, I mean, if you're just some dude, you're trying to get a girl, cool, do your thing. I mean, like, you taught me that apparently that's not the way people try to get to put that out. So, well, everything is, you know, in, re- in reality, everything is social media. Exactly what I'm saying, but you told me like the DMs is like the, the, oh, yeah. the prime marketplace for dating or it whatever. Is. It is. So, it is. you know, if you're a dude, I guess you got to fish somehow. Mm-hmm. My thing is always this: is like there's people that that lost, I guess, a uh, sense of reality, and so they live, and their worth and their value mm-hmm. is found in likes, is right. found in comments, right, 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 it's found in the heart button, mm-hmm. and that is when I'm like, okay, if you find yourself like yeah. having to delete a picture because it didn't get enough likes or or interactions or. Because, you know, they didn't attract that attention. Because, you know, some, for example, girls will post a specific picture for a specific person. Yeah. Or something like that. Or a story. for, And they go to the story to see who, like, who saw yeah, it. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. And true, so true. if that is where you're at, then I'm like, that's bad. Yeah. I think that's where I would draw the line. When it's like, okay, it becomes about my self-esteem and it becomes about my actions. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm posting my actions for somebody else. Yeah. Then, then yeah, we need to just kind of like... Just cut it off. Yeah, because then you've lost reality. You're, yeah. You, you made it too much about this. It's about that thing. Yeah, I kind of agree. Like, it's true. Like, um, a lot of people... I think that that's just in general. Like, a lot of people post with a certain purpose. Like, yeah. I, don't, I think nowadays a lot of people... Okay. I'm pretty sure nowadays a lot of people don't post just to post. You get me? Mm-hmm. Like, I think the people who post just to post are like how we talked about way earlier this year. 
by like the 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 old people on. on but I, I feel like that. That's how I am when it, when it comes to Instagram. I feel like an old old person. Old person for real? Well, no, nah, not your feed though. Your feed's not like that. What's my feed? Like your Instagram feed? It's not like that. Well, I follow You're purposeful. Like, I follow I follow like important people. Right, like, no, no, I'm saying your feed as in like what you've posted. Oh, like, like, cool. like your profile, like cool. your profile. It's not so. Okay, for example. Old people will, will like like if you if I go to like my mom's like Facebook uh-huh. page, you're gonna see she doesn't select oh which picture is cool which one no, no. she puts everything I think like if she took a picture everything's going up there. <laughs> totally. you know I mean? yeah like everything's just going up there. it doesn't even matter so it, it's very like you know like like look okay, nowadays people make the effort when they take pictures of the food that the lighting is good mm-hmm. the angle's good all of that right when you're not worried about that you just snap a picture boop the first picture you do you just take yeah. right the same thing with selfies like you see a lot of people. Like they post their selfies or whatever is not. They didn't happen in one take. That, yeah, that yeah, you yeah. took several selfies. And you flip around with them, right? Exactly. And then, then you know, you, you do your angles, or whatever. And then you pick the ones that you like the best. And then you post it. That's you post it with a purpose. You get me? Like you're posting with like whatever your purpose. Like okay, for example, like on my end, like if you go through my feed or whatever, you see that like my profile is organized a certain kind of way, mm-hmm. like how I have have it laid out, right? And then for me, my purpose is to flex, I guess, on what I'm wearing. You get me? Like yo, like. I feel fresh. So but I, but when you post. set it up, you're thinking about it like becoming aesthetically pleasing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So because you, yes, like even like this weekend, like this weekend, I had like a few people, like new people follow me, like you know, like through the people I've met, and they're like, "Yo, like I really like your feed. Like you have it set up." Because if you go through it, you know, it looks like like when you first yeah go ahead when you first go through it, you see like colors and like uh-huh. how I have it all set up by threes, and you know, what I mean, like it's kind of set up a certain kind of way. So some people like kind of like dig like how it kind of like looks. Oh, you get me? The aesthetics yeah, of it you. is. You get me in a circle. Yeah, because it goes like three, 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 three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly. like a flow to it. Exactly. And you keep going down. It's just like an aesthetic to it. So yeah. for me, it's, um, and you know, like that's how I usually I'm in real life, period. You get me? I just want like a certain aesthetic. Like so. a certain like vibe. Right, right. So that that's that's what I just put up. You get me? And I get me, my stories, I think, will be more like rookie in a sense. You get me? I don't post any selfies or um, when I do post, it's usually me talking about like I'm down or mm-hmm. something like that. You'll go check out this video of me and Chris got something going on, something like that. If there's never really like any selfies or anything like that, then you know it's like this last weekend I was just being like you know I was yeah. just taking a shot of everything and just putting like weird captions on it or whatever like. So I mean, I mean everybody posts with a certain purpose, but I guess like the the breakdown of this is when I feel like everybody now is transitioning from real world to social media world right, and now social media is the new reality, which and is bad. this real world is not because it's a disconnect. Yeah. yeah, but wait, but wait, why is it bad though? You know, one thing that you said a while back, and I told you it was like fire. It was like, uh, you know, everybody's on social media, but nobody's social anymore. Right? Right? And, and so that's the disconnect. Like, um, there's this, uh, this artist that kind of like, um, it's like satirical, right? Mm-hmm. So he'll like draw technology into us, right? Like, like how technology overtakes the daily life. Yeah. So for example, when we have a conversation, all you see is a guy touch somebody and like a heart pops up. Because mm. we don't really have interaction, a real conversation. Yeah. It's like I said what you were doing, cool. It's a boop boop. <laughs> you know, gotcha. but it's not like like actual intimate, real, yeah, honest like, conversation. Because conversation. even when you're vulnerable on social media, mm-hmm. you're not really vulnerable because you chose what you were gonna be. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like, all right, let me see how much I'm actually sharing. Like, but in real life, there's no limit to what you, you know when you're yeah, yeah. You're still, when you're when you're, when you're really vulnerable. Emotion, it's, like, it's like it's it's full. Like, you know, it's real. Facts, facts. Cause yeah. even when we watch like, like all these reality shows, right? They record like the best and the worst yeah. of people, right? Mm-hmm. Like you know, yeah. they still edit like tons crazy. of film and, and yeah. don't, don't so, make a cut. So it's basically I get you. So it's, you're basically altering reality, like real because it's, it's like it's reality, but it's not reality because it's edited. Yeah, I get. No, I get you. I, it's I still a highlight reel. It, it, yeah, exactly. So it's never like your actual. Yeah. yeah, and you know it's true. Like even when people post emotional things on social media, it's with a purpose. Mm-hmm. You hear me? Like, you're like, look, for, you could be in your room by yourself listening to music and you will break down crying because, I don't know, some guy broke your heart, right? Or some girl broke your heart. And you'll be buzzed down crying. But you will never record that, put it up on social yeah. media. Yeah. What, what you will do is that you'll probably find a cool. Oh, or you, you would like text something like, or you would post like something like, uh, you know, no one else can determine your value, some right? Some encouraging like some fortune sh- cookie yeah. nonsense, so, right? Exactly, some shit like that. Exactly, yeah. to kind of like, yeah. and like, but you still, and in the post, like you said, in posting that, you want that person mm. who did that to you, whatever, to, to kind read of it and be like, damn, you know, see, so it's, it, I, under, I completely understand. Interception. I see that. <laughs> By the way, watching the Patriots games while we're recording, I'm down, while I'm wearing Lil Pump's sweater from 
from uh, what's the song called? I, I like love it. it. I, no, what's the song? I, I like, like it. it. I like it, right? Yeah. By Kanye West and Lil Pump. So just so y'all know. Um, but uh, yeah, man. So that's the thing. That's where I tell you it's like that my my. Well, I'm almost like skeptical about social media, cause I see it become so like people become so immersed in it that. One of the most annoying things to me is, you know, when I'm about to eat, hold up, I gotta take a picture. Yeah. Dude, I don't yeah, have time I, for yeah, this. I experienced that shit too many times. It's true. I don't have time yeah. for this, man. Like, I'm trying to eat. Yeah. Or, or like, you know, like, you know what I mean? I like the pictures that are funny. Mm -hmm. Like, when we're just being us, because yeah. then I can look back and actually enjoy the memory. Yeah, yeah. But when it's like a forced picture, that doesn't bring a memory to me. Yeah, it does. It's like, oh, okay. No, no, yeah, I want us to be like like real candid, yeah, not yeah, fake yeah. candid. Yeah. So you see all the stuff I record, stuff I take pictures of, yeah. is us like just being us. Yeah, like, because if yeah, it's not, yeah. then it doesn't matter to me. And, and at the end, think about it. You know, if I'm going through my social media, right, mm -hmm. it should make me feel some type of way, not anybody else. Because it should be like, true. you know, I put this for a reason, right? Yeah. Like, everything is a post, every post has a reason. Yeah, yeah, but true. I put this for a reason, but it should be about me. Yeah. Because... You it's know, your profile, not anybody else's. Th those are facts. You know that that I like. Um. So for example, like, look, if I go through. Um. So th there's there's two sides to this, right? So if you're a person who's online, like you said, and and you know, like you're trying to put down the uh -huh. online, you want your feed to be fire, so that when somebody else goes and clicks on your feed, like oh, okay, like he's a good looking mm -hmm. person, good looking guy, good looking girl, whatever, whatever, right? And then it's the same thing vice versa with girls, right? Mm -hmm. So when you go through the things, so it's always like that. But then there, like you said, there is always that reality, like like. A person is always going to be used to just seeing you fire fresh all the time. Mm -hmm. And that's not like your real actual yeah, life. Yeah. Then when you go and you move on to see like like the person in real life, they might not be as popping as yeah, they do. Yeah, you like, said like, about like a, like a bad expectation. Yeah, yeah. it's like, eh, and that's what the whole catfishing thing yeah, yeah. Is, like all of that stuff. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess there's a negativity to it. But I just, I'm just seeing, and I think future-wise, it's just I don't think it's going to get better. To be honest with you, I think at this point, like, technology itself is just gonna... Hey, look, like, we've seen... You know, I think I'm gonna go see a movie with you, right? About the gamer thing that's, like, yeah, virtual uh, reality. Yeah, player one? Yeah, okay, like, right there. Like, that you movie... You would rather live in the... Exactly, like, that movie is literally based on everybody... Basically, everybody in the world's bummy. Like, you get me? Like, these people are living in freaking, like, beat-up cars, you know, this horrible, like, future or whatever. But everybody's immersed in this virtual reality game. You yeah. get I me? Mean? And that's where it, So, I mean, if you think about that message has a huge... I mean, that movie has a huge message, which is we're all... Like, all of our minds, everything is just dove into this thing. You get I me? Mean? And we don't really start to live that real life. And, 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 and no, it's the introduction of the movie that you mentioned. is like, oh, you know, what, what everybody loves about the Oculus, I don't know what I forgot it's called. The, the guy, right? The guy who made it? You no, know? but the game, the game itself. Oh, no, the uh, game. Whatever. Uh, whatever. The Rift, I don't know what it's yeah. called. Yeah. Um, so like whatever it is like you can be anything you want to be. You wanna be right. But you know how sad that sounds yeah. because you replace real life and being who you actually can be for who you want to be. Mm -hmm. And that's our social media because in social media you are who you want to be. True. In real life, you gotta face the fact that not every day you look fresh. Facts. <laughs> you gotta face the fact that not every day you know you pop it. Yeah, pop. It. Facts. So, Facts. so, and, and that is, I, I, that's for me. I think is the biggest danger is that we are creating, uh, you know, such a need. No longer a light, a want. It's a yeah. need for this fake attention and this fake utopia mm -hmm. of social media that is like we're gonna fail to lose ourselves in it, and we're gonna like really, really lose yeah, who we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, that's yo. I like. It. I think we could take that into deep as consideration because it's very true like at the end it's gonna like we definitely lose and we don't get to bask in those real moments you know what i mean yeah. like when like i like the only i'll tell you like, yo there was we went to a restaurant on friday went across the street to a restaurant um and we get like you know we get our bottles of wines we're about to drink like you know i do like oh cheers yeah. you know like, yeah you know everybody cheers yo the girl's like wait, 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 wait. Like, hold on, hold on. Yeah, do it again, do it again. I was like, yo, like, come I on. Do it again. Yeah, do it again. I didn't do it again. You just ruined the first thing. It's, like, it's like, let's cheer to this. It's like, wait, wait, wait. wait. They, they want to do it again. Cause I want to take a boomerang over too. It's like, yo, hold up. So I completely understand what you're saying. I think that we are, you know, like, yo, I could be the biggest bum and put on a few fresh clothes, walk over to the beach, take a picture from the Rolls Royce, post it up, and make it look like, yo, this is the life yeah. I'm living, but it's. It's fake. It's false. It's a bow challenge. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's definitely. A and, you know, and, and I'm telling you, and a lot about life. Uh, uh, you really want to have a good life. You know, you can't just watch. You gotta experience it. Like for example, when people take pictures of, of this food, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, yo, a picture 
tells you a thousand words, but the taste is completely different. You know, yes. so I don't care how much you've seen it. Some food look good, it tastes bad. And right. some food doesn't, it's not picture worthy. It right. would be the best food you ever had. Yeah. So, you know, when we limit ourselves to just what we could post mm -hmm. or what we can tweet, yeah. then we cut off a lot of our life. Yeah. Is that is that is that perception? Yeah, that yeah. Picture? No, that's true, man. And you know, I I think at this point it's um, it it's it's a lot detrimental on yourself because you know I I think one where we we kind of mm -hmm. don't really take into consideration is the word self esteem, right? Yeah. Like self esteem is about how you feel about yourself, mm -hmm. right? But we've given people the power to tell us how, how we should, we should feel, feel about ourselves. ourselves. You get me? Which is no longer self esteem; mm -hmm. it's um, um, other people's yeah. esteem, I guess. You yeah. know, so, so that and social media has made that, I guess, worse to the point where it's like, yo, like he's my age and he's doing mm -hmm. this; she's my age and she's doing this. But it's like you don't know; like yeah, you, yeah. you really don't yeah. know like what's going on, what circumstance, what situation, or if it's real or not, yeah. or even if it is like the opportunity. That, you know, I mean, it's, it's a whole bunch of things. So, I think that you know. Um, it kind of takes a lot away from us to For see sure. like, real, what's real, and what's not real. Yeah, boy, finally got to turn Yeah, man, that was a good throw, too. Finally that was a hard throw. But, yeah, man, yeah. You, you just literally, that you summed it up. It's like, at the end of this connect, is, if we don't do something about it, we're going to fail because we're going to assume that inspiration is likes and inspiration is value. Yeah. And, and so then we're going to assume that, you know, oh, I made a difference because I have a million followers. Mm -hmm. Which, no, the, no, it's, it's not true. Because you got a million blind followers brainless followers yeah and so what you created was not change you created a cult yeah which is true <laughs> hey that's true like yeah it, and your followers do matter like the people that do the added value yeah. so i, like that. I don't know what else I beautiful I mean, look man on that note you already know how it is and we want to thank you guys comment down below let us know what you think about let us know if you should have a dance i, I love it I, I love it the thing is really big man this thing is really big but chris got it for us See, C is not for champions for Chris yeah, now. Really See, so we rocking yeah, it out yeah. here. And yeah, man, so let us know what you think. Let us know if um if whatever point we made, y'all hating on it, y'all loving it, y'all agree. You have more to add. Yo, comment down below, interact, you know what I'm saying? Um, we don't want to just have what well, Chris just said, a bunch of cults or whatever. Um, it'll be dope to build, you know, a community around this. So let us know what you think. Uh, we kind of got away from the topic in a way. Actually, no, I think we if, instead we kind of like added more to the topic right we yeah. went from ig thoughts and what, what the whole thing means so man let us know thank you guys for supporting thank you guys for watching we appreciate you guys um i got a note from a friend at work that her friend it her friend watches us and then tells other friends for and real? i have no idea who these people are like That's i don't know so who her cool. friend are i'm gonna say so you know, this is something we would love yeah thank you for like this is something we wouldn't know first of all like i wouldn't know that Anyways, you get me? So, like, you know, there's views and there's eyes that you just don't know where they come from anyways. You get me? Like, a video can have, like, four views, right? But those four views might be people that support you that you don't even know. Yeah, four you people me? you never met. Yeah, that you so never met. That's somewhere cool. Exactly. Yeah. So, man, we appreciate you guys. We're going to keep doing this, helping this out as much as we can. Uh, we thank y'all. We love y'all. Till next time. Peace.